Hello everybody to a very quick Asian Cup update. Um, not much to say today except there were goals, 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 goals. Um, first game of the uh, day, Qatar uh, demolished North Korea 6-0, uh, three goals before the half, three goals after. Um, yeah, very, very poor defending by North Korea and that's really not much to say. There was no goal that really stood out to me. Um, it was just absolute demolition and puts Qatar in a very good position uh, in the sense they only need a draw against Saudi Arabia to win the group thanks to goal difference um, and yeah that might be actually do it for them but I still think that South, uh, South Saudi Arabia's stronger team might get the win so uh, I would still go for Saudi Arabia winning this group uh, and then group F two absolutely different games um, the earlier game was uh, Japan having a real struggle against Oman, getting a kind of contested penalty. It was not uh, from the highlights. I couldn't really make make it if the foul was really inside of the box. It was given uh, converted one nil, and then a few minutes later, Oman should have gotten a penalty. I mean, it was handballed at at the World Cup with VAR would have been given. Pretty sure there is no war at the Asian Cup now, so there went Oman's chance of making something big. And yeah, it, uh, Japan holds on to the win. Yes, they could have scored another one, but I think Oman was well in the game. And uh, seemingly like Korea, Japan has a hard time getting it going. And given that Uzbekistan made a really short drift of Turkmenistan, uh, 4-0 at halftime and that's how it, how, how, how it ends and yeah, 4-0, 4-0, 4-0, uh, a huge goal differential and Uzbekistan seems like they are more of a team and I think they can hold on to the draw against Japan unless Japan pulls a performance. I actually would at the moment favor Uzbekistan to win this group. And speaking of winning, let's look at the other four groups and see how everything pans out. So I still think Saudi Arabia will be ahead of Qatar. Yeah, prediction should go wrong and same thing. I think Uzbekistan will finish ahead of Japan. Uh, in the other groups, if you look at, I think UAE will get the win over Thailand and India will win against Bahrain. So it will remain uh, as it is, UAE, India, Thailand, Bahrain. Um, the other, the next group, Despite Jordan already being sh assured first place, I still think that uh, the, yeah they will get a point against Palestine. I don't think they will uh, let, let, let it all go. Uh, so I would say Palestine will get a point. Australia will make sure that they win against Syria. So uh, Palestine and Syria have not been too convincing overall. So I think, yeah. Uh, I think Jordan 7, Australia 6, and Palestine 2, Syria 1. Um, Korea and China is another one where um, China has at, at the moment the advantage in goal differential. I think Korea, especially if they get Son back now, will get the win over China. And I think Kyrgyzstan and uh, Philippines have not been all that great, so I think they will play a draw, which will eliminate both of them. Iran, Iraq... Um, here, Iran has the advantage in goal differential. It's a one of those groups where two have won, two have lost. Um, but I would say that Iran will even win against Iraq, even if they get a draw. They will win this group, and Vietnam will get the win over Yemen, um, which would be uh, put Vietnam through the next round. As um, as I think Saudi Arabia, I think will win against Qatar. Le Lebanon will get the win over um, North Korea. I also will think that Oman will get. Um, the win over Turkmenistan. So this means the third place teams that will be eliminated according to how I see it now, these are no projections whatsoever, is Palestine and Kyrgyzstan. And we'll set up the following rounds and there are quite some juicy matchups in there. India against China, I mean, politically you cannot get better than that. Iran against Lebanon is also in that uh, quadrant. Um, I think actually India has a chance of beating China. So India, Iran, and Iran goes on to the semis. Uh, then we would have Jordan, Thailand. Jordan going on, Uzbekistan, Qatar. Am I denouncing the Qataris or not? I still think that Uzbekistan goes on there. I don't know. 
and then Jordan Uzbekistan, I would give Uzbekistan the nod, the nod and Iran against Uzbekistan. Um, honestly, if it's Japan winning the group, I think Japan also walks through that, um, through to the semis here. I still think Japan has a lot to uh, show. Uh, third quarter, uh, Korea, Oman, of course, Korea, Saudi Arabia, Iraq. I think Iraq, honestly, even if they play Qatar, I am a little bit afraid I'm giving Qatar short shrift here, but um, my gut feeling says uh, they, are, they won't be in the quarters. Uh, the Emirates against Vietnam will be for the Emirates, and then Australia against Japan, the last one. Uh, if Japan finishes on the all seconds, Australia against Japan. I mean, that is a mega matchup, but I think Japan will get that one. And then it will be the Emirates against Japan. I think Japan will do that. Korea against Iraq was in the third quadrant. Um, I think Korea, so we have Iran, Uzbekistan, Korea, Japan. That's the semifinal I see it for now. Um, just if Japan finishes first and Uzbekistan plays against Australia, that's a tough match for me to call. But I would still say Uzbekistan, the way they have been playing, although Australia might actually get the better of them. And if they do against the Emirates, I actually would actually favor Australia as well. But, you know, I don't know that much. But it's surely going to be interesting. So this is how I see things panning out at the moment. Of course, everything is up for grabs, in my opinion, and we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you watched any of the matches, how they uh, went for you. If you agree with my assessment, also with my, my predictions, maybe I'm completely off. Let me know what you think. And so give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.